Well, hello and welcome to this video series. I am Jennifer Campbell, your online systemic leadership mentor. And in this short video series, I want to share with you a systemic and strategic approach to diversity that you can leverage to shape diversity beyond the numbers game, create an inclusive work culture, and enhance your organization's performance. Hello, Jennifer Campbell here, your online systemic leadership mentor. During today's The Power of Strategic Diversity video, I want to talk to you about shaping diversity by understanding your organization's ecology and phase of development. Now, what your organization needs in terms of diversity is different for every growth phase of your company. This requires that you as a leader know where your company is in its growth curve. Now, what's surprising to me is that many leaders are not aware of the growth phase of their organization. For example, if you are a farmer and you need to take care of your crop, you know that you need to be aware of the seasons and of the growth phase of your crop. You know when to sow, you know when to harvest, and you know when the soil needs rest and recovery. You, if you are a parent and you're raising your children, you know that you need to focus on the care and parenting your kids' needs, depending on their development and what age they are. Now, these are examples that seem so evident because it's about the ecology of living human systems that we are all familiar with, families and farmers. And so the ecology is the study of how living human systems and living things interact with each other and its environment. And I'm not saying that farming and parenting is easy, but they are examples that we understand and we understand that there's a rhythm that helps us navigate these systemic, these complex processes. The importance of the growth curve as a visualization of that rhythm is easy to see and understand. It is equally evident that every growth phase requires a different approach and different competencies, skills, and behaviors to cater for their system, whether this is a family or a farmland. Now, the same counts for your organization. If we shape leadership in the more traditional way, a lot of focus lies on making profits and continuous growth. Now, of course, this is different for not-for-profit organizations, but many profit organizations focus on this. And this doesn't make any sense from an ecological perspective. Steep growth makes sense at the beginning of the growth curve. And at some point, there's maturing of your organization and more consolidation. So focusing on growth all the time puts a lot of stress on your organization and doesn't necessarily make it any healthier. So hiring people with the skills and behaviors that are meant for continuous growth is like expecting your crop to grow and be ready for harvesting in winter time. So that's when the systemic and strategic approach to diversity comes in. It is about what the system needs. Now its growth curve is key in determining what or who needs to be included in your organization. To quote one of our Systemic Leadership Summit speakers, Peter Robertson, he said, you can have a team at the early stage of the growth curve with perfect cultural diversity, but that consists of only exploratory people. They have a thousand ideas and are a nightmare for investors. Now, when leaders are made aware of this, they often discover that their organizations are much more mature or even at the end of the organizational growth curve. Now, symptoms of being at the end of the growth curve are having a lot of success, earning a lot, um, going for more of the same, and most paradoxically, thinking that you are not at the end of the growth curve. Now, when you don't know where you are with your business, your organization misses out on the power of a strategic approach to diversity. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to hear more in the Power of Strategic Diversity video series, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll get notified when future videos become available. Also, you can go to my website, jennifercampbell.com, and learn and discover more about programs and services to help you co-create transformation 
and grow strong, healthy teams and organizations. Now, until the next video, remember, let's build strong, living human systems, one system at a time. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.